Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Huh? Let's go. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Y'all already know it's your man. Super bad. The kingdom kid. Oh, man. The homie, the Holy Spirit is so deep. Okay. All right. So as y'all can see, I got my hair done, right? Okay. All right. So I got it done Saturday, right? All right, so after I got my hair done, I didn't know I had a lot of hair, okay? So when I got home, I had a headache from hell, all right? <laughs> so I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, I was so uncomfortable, bro. Like, I was like, yo, like, <laughs> I had to lay down. I had to earth that. So I ended up taking some medicine for a headache, right? And then my sister was like, hey, man, next time you're going to get your hair twisted and you're going to get it wrapped up like that. Make sure you, you know, you pop you some Tylenol, you know, so, you know, you ain't got to, you know, bear, you know, bear it like that, right? That's all right, cool. Now, even though I did that, my head was still hurting. It was still sore. You know what I'm saying? So I was at work, and the Holy Spirit whispered to me, heavy is the head that wears the crown. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, what? Like, it, But that was just so deep to me. Because I was like, dang, Lord, you're right. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. You're right about that goes right to Matthew 16 24 right what did Jesus say if any man comes after me what he has to do deny himself pick up his cross and follow me so I was like ooh, I was like hey Holy Spirit that was a good one you know what I'm saying I said that was real good and then the Holy Spirit started breaking it down all right so when a lot of times when people hear this message they only talk about the first instruction. It's three instructions. You didn't know that, did you? It's three instructions that God gave. He didn't just give one instruction. He gave three of them. Three. I call it D-P-F. Deny, pick up, follow. Deny, pick up, follow. Okay? Because a lot of times, people are just saying... Oh, you know, they just go in about denying the flesh. But see, yes, it's talking about that. But it's two other things you got to do with that. You got to pick up your cross and you got to follow the Lord. Because let me tell you something. And it's going to blow your mind. Did you know you can be denying your flesh, but still doing your own will and not God's will? It's a lot of people out here right now. That are denying their flesh with the wrong motive. You got to think about it. Even the wicked deny their flesh. But that doesn't mean they're doing it for God. They're doing it for the devil. They're doing it for themselves. So you can still be denying your flesh. But be doing it for your own selfish gain. Or for doing it for the world or for the devil. Or for whatever you're trying to do it for. That's why Jesus said not only to deny your flesh, but to pick up your cross and to also follow Christ. DPF, deny, pick up, follow, not just deny, because you can get misled that way. You can't only just deny your flesh. You got to pick up your cross and follow Christ. So when it comes to talking about picking up your cross, that means now. Okay, whatever comes my way, I'm a bear it. That means the bad, the ugly, the worse. Because that also comes with the good, the better, the great. So that means that you can't just be, just as much as you hype for the blessings, you got to be hyped for the burdens. Just as you hype for that anointing, you got to be hyped for them attacks too. You feel me? You got to bear it all. Then following Christ, you following Christ with enthusiasm, let's go! You know what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong. It ain't going to always be like that because, like I said, man, I be having my days too, you feel me? <laughs> but still, overall, you got that zeal for God to continue to keep following after him, man. So just remember that. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, all right? And it's DPF, man. Deny, pick up, follow. You just can't deny your flesh. You got to also pick up your cross, bear whatever's coming at you right now you know what i'm saying all of it you know what i'm saying not just some of it all of it man 
And then you got to remember, it's not your will, but God's will. And that's where the picking up the cross comes in. Like, I give you an example. Okay, you can sit there, right? And somebody just did you dirty. Now, your will, you can go right over there, cuss them out, smack them up and everything. Right? Because you got the right to because they disrespected you. But you looking at it in Christ's eyes, you know what? I ain't going to let them take me out of character. I'm going to just go ahead. I'm going to forgive them. And I'm going to let the Lord fight my battles. Because God forgives me, I'm going to forgive my enemies. So that's what I'm talking about. Like, what did Jesus do? Jesus told Abba God, our Heavenly Father, what? When he was in that hour of prayer. Right before he was about to die, die for our sins. What do he say? Not my will, but your will be done. So that's what picking up our cross is all about. It's not our will, but doing God's will. Right? Also, don't think it's strange that you're going through suffering. You got to remember, if Christ suffered, guys, we're all going to suffer. And I know this is not a popular message, but guys, we need to get this within us. Because if we don't understand that suffering, that you know, uh, self-denial, picking up our cross, following the Lord, um, you know, is part of it, then we're, we're, we're not going to fulfill what God has called us to do. You know what I'm saying? So you have to understand, don't look at it strange when a fiery trial comes upon you, okay? That you're going through some suffering. Don't think nothing strange about it. Because you're partaking in the sufferings of Christ, as it says in First Peter chapter four, and that you're gonna, and as and as Christ is revealed, you shall be revealed, right, with His glory. That when it, it also says that when you're reproached for the name of Christ, blessed are you, because Jesus and the Holy Spirit rest upon you. That's a blessing. So though they're blaspheming Him, but on your side, you're glorifying Him. Also in Hebrews 2, it talks about that. That it was by the grace of Abba God, our Heavenly Father, that through Jesus Christ, His Son, our Lord and Savior, He would taste death for each and every one of us, bringing us into His glory as Jesus became the captain of salvation, perfecting us through sufferings. So you have to understand that Christ was a man of sorrows, bro. He went through a lot of suffering, bro. So don't look at that crazy when you're going through suffering. Oh, this isn't of God. Yes, it is of God because God suffered a lot, yo, in the flesh. But I'm glad, though. You want to know why? Because he did that just so he could relate to you and me. He knows what it feels like to suffer. He knows what it feels like to be, you know, to be, uh, 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 you know, to be disgraced and disrespected and belittled and all that stuff, man. He knows how it feels, man. That's why you can go to the Lord and he knows exactly what you're going through and understands and is going to make a way for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And please, guys, be encouraged when you hear messages like this, because, you know, the Holy Spirit really got on me about that, too. Like, bro, when you hear messages like this, messages full of meat, this ain't no milk, this is meat. Look, eat it up, but at the same time, digest it. In a positive way. Stop digesting it in a negative way, man. Okay? Because God is going to help you with this. That's why a couple weeks ago, the, the Lord was talking about in the new covenant, Jesus said, I will put my law and my ways within their minds and within their hearts. Okay? So keep leaning on God and be in expectancy for the Lord to help you. Because God wants to help you. This is look, 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 look. This is not about you helping yourself out. No, this is about you depending on God who helps you because you're helping yourself. And more importantly, you already know, man, I'm here for God. I ain't here for the world or for anybody else. All right? So remember that. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, man. I love y'all. Shalom, shalom. Peace be unto you.